remain standing as we nurture our spiritual consciousness in the presence of the Holy Spirit. To lead us in the prayer, may we have on stage Mrs. Rowena S. De La Cruz, a compassionate fourth-year advisor, likewise from the Mathematics Department. My dear brothers and sisters, we bow our heads, close our eyes, and open our hearts and minds to our loving God. Heavenly Father, our great and mighty God, we bow before you this day in the name of your Son, Jesus. We, your loving sons and daughters, believe that you are here present in this auditorium because you have said that if one or two gathered together in your name you are at their midst father we truly believe that your holy spirit is here with us right now watching over us as we celebrate our 68th annual commencement exercises and graduation ceremony of our dear graduating class of 2014. We praise you, Father. We thank you for calling us to be your people and for choosing us to give you glory. We praise you, Father, and we give you glory for the wonderful things you do for us, for life and health, for friends and family, for this splendid day. In a special way, we are thanking you because we are alive. We are thanking you because we made it through the difficulties. We are thanking you because we have walked around the obstacles. We are thanking you because we have the ability and the opportunity to do more and to do better. We are thanking you because, Father, you have not given up on us. There is nothing that is more important to us right now than to thank you and praise your holy name because you are worthy to be praised. Here in this auditorium, we see your love around us. We see our parents, our brothers and sisters, our friends, our teachers and all the people who cared for us and encouraged us and put us so far their love and care is a gift for which we are truly grateful today we ask you father to bless our graduating class of 2014 they will be graduating today in high school and we know that there is the known future in front of them. There is much to prepare for their college or work. There is growing up to do, independence to assert and more. We ardently pray, O oh Lord, that you will protect our graduating class of 2014 as they head into their future. You have done so much for them so far getting this far has not always been easy but we ardently pray that you O Lord will continue to offer them strength courage and discernment as they go into the world that is not always black and white 
May they find love and friendship. Make lifelong friends and find your plan for them and experience you provide. Father, we thank you for giving each graduate the talents, the abilities, the self-discipline required for this wonderful accomplishment. We are grateful to you for the parents, teachers, mentors, coaches, and youth counselors who have taught them, nurtured them, and challenged them along the way. Now that their minds have been well equipped with the basic knowledge of many different subjects, we pray, Lord, that their hearts and spirits will also be equipped for successful living. Add heavenly wisdom and discernment to their knowledge, infusing their ambitions and dreams with your love. Help our graduating class of 2014 to desire your good way for their future. Remind them, O oh Lord, that you are only a prayer away when they met obstacles, heartbreaks, and challenges. May they always be courageous enough to ask for help, advice, and support when they need it. May they never needlessly suffer alone without reaching out to you and to, to others who care. As they become independent adults, help them, Lord, to learn the secret of dependence on you. Give them a desire to know more about you. May they find you in the scriptures, in the joy of new love, in the gathering of your people, in the beauty of your creation, and in the strength of their youth. Now as they prepare to enter a new phase of their lives, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will continue to guide them, to protect them, and to help them to truly care for others as they learn about the world and about themselves. May this year's theme, Hindi Natitinag Ang Pusong Pilipino, be a constant reminder to them and a source of their strength that will propel them to achieve more for others and for the country in spite of the obstacles that will stand in their way. May your peace and blessings be theirs as they move on into the new life full of joy and promise. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you so much, Mom Wang. You may now take your seats. The 68th Annual Commencement Exercises is comparable to a drapery in a stage play that indicates an epic of educational pursuit, then finally reveals the culmination of rewarding achievements and great completion. This is attended by our highly regarded guests, Municipal officials, deputy officials, school administrators, teachers, parents, visitors, candidates for graduation, and students. To properly acknowledge the equally important personalities who are in attendance in this event, I must therefore introduce the key person who knows exactly how to commend such presence. Please welcome on stage the supportive PTA president of the fourth year curriculum, Mr. Ramon B. Pasqua with his opening remarks. Thank you very much to our ABLM Master of, Master of Ceremonies, Madam De La Cruz and Madam Ferrer. To our most beloved Municipal Mayor, Honorable Teodoro C. Cruz and his constituents, to our distinguished performing guest and keynote speaker, the very beautiful Dr. Teodoro V. Nabor, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent of Pangasinan 1, 
the most adorable and admirable principal four of this institution, the Mangatarim National High School, Mrs. Rosario Mayo Oligario Cabrera, a.k.a. Mom Cherry, the department heads with the different learning areas, entire faculty members, teaching and teaching staff for that matter, fellow proud parents of the graduating class, my fellow senior PTA officers, the Federated PTA Officer, President, Sir Pastor Miguel Nimo, the candidates for graduation of the batch 2014, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a peaceful and pleasant night ahead to, to all of us. At last, the most awaited time has finally come, and this is the graduation day of these candidates for graduation of batch 2014. Dear young students, this is now the time for you to reap and harvest the fruits of your sacrifices. The medals and certificates that you will receive today will serve as symbols of your achievements. And I firmly believe that you have achieved because you really have work hard for it. To the awardees, accept my sincerest gratitude and congratulations. Carry on and continue the good work that you have started. Keep on striving. But to those who did not make it to the top, let this be a challenge for you to strive and work harder, for this is the only time to achieve your success. As this year's graduation theme, Hindi na titilag ang puso Pilipino, actually implies that we have a heart that is so strong and resilient. Despite all the calamities that have come our way, still we have managed to overcome all these obstacles. So start making your plan now, dear graduates, and keep on thinking ways and means to become somebody someday. Pursue or continue your studies up to college and until such time that you will be able to finish that the, cor the course you have wanted most to be. To my fellow parents, I urge you to finance the studies of our children. Guide them. For time will come, we say, we are now as successful as parents. Happy graduation, dear students of BUS 2014, 14, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramon Pasqua, for those heartwarming words for all of us. Once again, good evening. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, we come to one of the high points of this affair. We are pleased to listen to our dear principal, very prominent speaker and well-organized cool head of Mangataram National High School. Let us all cheer for Ma'am Cherry Cabrera, Principal 4 of the Mangataram National High School, Mrs. Rosario O. Cabrera for the presentation of the multitude of candidates for graduation, class 2013-2014. For the, for the acceptance and confirmation of the graduates, and she will also deliver us the keynote speech. Good evening, everyone. Our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Chidora Vina Bohr, I have the pleasure to present to you our graduates. First, May I request our ALS passers to stand? Standing in front of you are 14 males and 18 females with a total of 22 
who passed the accreditation and equivalency test of the alternative learning system given in October. From our formal education, may I request our graduates, candidates for graduation from the Open High School Program. Here are 10 males and 2 females who finished the, the curriculum in the Open High School Program. And from the Special Science and Technology Oriented High School Curriculum, we have 34 male and 42 female for a total of 76. From the special program in the arts, 13 males and 23 females for a total of 36. And from our regular class, we have 263 males and 289 females. All in all, for a total of 698 graduating students. These six stu students have successfully hurdled the restructured basic education curriculum and the different curricula attached to the special programs. Ma'am, for your confirmation and acceptance. By the authority vested in me by the Department of Education through the school's division superintendent, and with a strong recommendation of your school principal, Dr. Rosario Cabrera, that you have completed all the requirements prescribed for secondary education by the Department of Education, I now accept and for confirm you graduates of BATS 2014. You may now receive your diploma and enjoy the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. You may now take your seats. Our PTA President, Mr. Ramos B. Pascua. Mr. Past I, Pastor Miguel Nimo. Our PTA President of BOD. Of course, the very uh, able school principal. Dr. Rosario Cabrera, the men and women beneath her wings, the head teachers and the members of the faculty, my dear parents, young graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good evening na pala. <laughs> Gabi na pala, no? Time flies so swiftly, as if it was just yesterday, when you were just testing your brains. As if it was just yesterday when you first stepped in the four corners of Mga Tarum National High School. Young and uncertain of what your school can offer you, you were full of hopes and dreams. My dear graduates, as the old adult says, graduation is not the end, but the beginning of, but the beginning of something new something bigger and something different. Graduates, you are indeed very lucky for God has given you good mentors who molded you and transformed you to what and who you are right now. God has blessed you with wonderful parents who supported you along the way and helped you morally, financially, emotionally and spiritually. My dear parents, you deserve no less than a big round of applause. How about giving our parents a warm round of applause? My two thumbs up for you, my dear parents, and I hope you will not get tired helping your children or supporting your children. For someday, your sweats will turn into gold. Lahat naman po, pagdating ng araw, lahat ng pawis nyo ay magiging ginto. To the teachers, I can feel that you are as proud as the parents. Kudos. I encourage you to continue 
working hard, pour more love to your work, and be committed to the Department of Education. To our dear graduates, let me share you the parable of the pencil. The pencil maker took the pencil aside just before putting them or putting him into the box. There are five things you need to know, said the pencil maker. Before I send you out into the world, always remember them and never forget. And you will become the best pencil you can be. One, you will be able to do many great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in someone's hand. Two, you will experience a painful sharpening from time to time, but you'll need it to become a better pencil. Three, you will be able to correct any mistakes you might make. Four, the most important part of you will always be what's inside. And five, on the surfa every surface you are used on, you must leave a mark. No matter what the condition, you must continue to write. The pencil understood and promised to remember and went into the box with purpose in its heart. Now, my dear graduates, replacing the place of the pencil with you. Always remember them and never forget, and you will become the best person you can be. First, you will be able to do many great things, but only if you allow yourself to be held in God's hand and allow other human beings to access you for the many gifts you possess. God is no doubt, my dear graduates, the architect of our lives. We may have dreams, beautiful dreams, but if God does not want us to be just like the way we, we think and we believe, God does not necessarily deny us but maybe God has better plans for us. And if you are troubled, you might think that God is sleeping. Alam niyo yung kanta na huwag mong ano yan? Akalaing natutulog pa ang Diyos. Diba? Alam niyo ba yon? Huwag mong akalaing natutulog pa ang Diyos. Dahil ang buhay mo, sabi niya, ay may halaga sa Kanya. Kung minsan, kung mayroon tayong frustrations, sinisisi natin ang Panginoon. Every time we meet adversities, we always blame God or we always ask God, why? We may not be able to understand the wisdom of God immediately, but I tell you, in His time, He will let you know and give you what maybe, not maybe what you want, but what is better or maybe what is best for you. So allow yourself then to be held by Him. At kung ikaw ay pinagkalooban man ng Panginoon, ng biyaya o kakayahan, ito'y wag dapat ipagdamot. Kundi, i-share sa kapwa ninyo. Sabi nga niya, allow other human beings to access you for the many gifts you possess. Two, you will experience a painful sharpening from time to time by going through various problems in life, but you'll need it to become a stronger person. To continue the song that I just o the lyrics, sabi nga niya, huwag mong akalaing natutulog pa ang Diyos. Ang sabi niya doon sa bandang huli, tibayan mo ang iyong loob. Yan ang bubuo sa inyo. It is not always good to cry and sleep with your problems o kaya hayaan nating masira ang ating 
Uno, magtampo sa magulang, magtampo sa Panginoon, sisihin ang kung sino-sino. Dahil ang lahat ng pagsubok na dumadaan sa atin ay kayang-kaya natin kung yan ay harapin lang natin. That is just part of the sharpening of that pencil. Alam niyo yung lead ng pencil? Yun ang pinakamahalaga, the inner part, and that is the black part, yung lead niya. Pag nag-sharpen tayo ng pencil and we want to use it beautifully, or to write beautifully, hanggang doon pa sa kailaliman, binabawasan pa natin yun. Ginagawa natin matulis. So that means, kung minsan ang mga pagsubok ay sagad hanggang buto. Kung i-compare natin sa pencil. Ah, kaya nasasaktan tayo paminsan-minsan. Many are tempted to give up. But I tell you, my dear graduates, quitters are losers. So never quit, never give up. Take all these adversities in life as challenges that would make you a better person. Third, you will be able to correct any mistakes you make, you might make. Kaya nga ang pencil may eraser, di ba? Kaya gustong gusto nating gamitin yon, kasi pag nagkamali tayo, pwede nating erase. Sa buhay kaya natin, kaya din natin yon. Can we erase our mistakes? Di ba sabi niya, para tayong isang lapis. So kung ang lapis pwede niyang i-erase ang pagkakamali, pwede nating gawin, gawin yon sa sarili nating pagkakamali. What is important is, when we commit a mistake, we acknowledge it. And we should be ready to change if need be. Kung nagkamali tayo, kailangan, we humble ourselves to admit our mistakes and start all over again. Wag tayong, o kaya ay wag tayong magmatigas. Wag tayong makipagtaasan ng ihi-ika nga. Kung alam nating nagkamali tayo, kailangan magpakumbaba. At wala namang wawawala sa atin kung aaminin natin ang ating pagkakamali. Ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat, ay kung natuto tayo sa ating pagkakamali. At kung alam nating hindi karapat dapat ang ating nagawa, ay kailangang isang tabi muna at hindi na tayo uulit pa. The fourth one, which is the most important part of you, will be what's inside you. Ano yon Sa lapis yung lead. Tayo kaya, what is it? It is your character. Your character. It is more important, which is more important than your makinis na mukha, ika nga, magandang suot, magandang kasuotan, magarang sapatos, magarang gamit, at lahat-lahat ng mga bagay na yan ay madaling mawala. In a split seconds that will be gone, if God so decides to get it from you. But what is inside you, yun na lang ang matitira. Yung kabuuan mo, yung pagkatao mo. And that is the most important part of you, my dear young graduates. Yung prinsipyo nyo, yung pagiging makatwiran nyo, magi yung pagiging honest ninyo. Kayo ba ay kasama sa honest club ni Onesto? Can you promise to be honest? Ha? Huh? Honest to promise. Oh. Sabihin niyo nga. Ayan, magaling. So, yung mga bagay-bagay, the right values that would make us who we really are are more important than the material things that we have in this world. So, the fifth one Sabi nga niya, on every surface you walk through, you must leave a mark. No matter what the situation, you must continue to do your duties. 
Ano ang pwede nating iwanan as a mark? Something that is good. Siyempre, hindi naman tayo, hindi naman natin gustong mag-iwan ng hindi maganda. ba? Diba? Alam natin lahat, you may not be able to give your parents the best mark in the world. Meaning, 99% to 100% performance rating in school. But I tell you, little things that would make your parents happy would leave a mark in their hearts. Courtesy that you give to your peers will just leave a mark to your peers or to your classmates. So my dear graduates, it is very important that we recognize the rights of everyone, that we recognize that even if we are human beings, nagkakamali pa minsan-minsan, mayroon at mayroon pa tayong natitirang kabutihan sa kaluob-luoban natin. Leave a mark. Sabi nga ng magulang, ay ang anak kong yan, lanang yan napupulag, pero malambingtan, makuli-kuli, matultulong, di ba? Kung minsan naaalala tayo ng dahil sa kabutihan natin, hindi naman lahat ay naaalala dahil ay yan ay pinakamatalino, yan ay valedictorian. I am not saying that you will not remember the valedictorians and the salutatorians, but I said, there may be something in you that is worth remembering than the thing that you are maybe thinking of. So my dear graduates, never allow yourself, allow this parable rather on the pencil to encourage you to know that you are a special person and only you can fulfill the purpose to which you were born to accomplish. Never allow yourself to get discouraged and think that your life is insignificant and cannot make a change. Alam ko, kayang-kaya natin ito. Kagaya ng sinabi natin, at ako'y naniniwala lahat tayo dito ay mga Pilipino. At ang pusong Pilipino, ika nga, ay di natitinag. So sa inyo lahat mga minamahal kong graduates, congratulations and good luck. A million thanks to you, Dr. Nagor. Your presence and your keynote speech both made our commencement exercises very substantial. I hope our graduates learn something from it and they will write their own, uh, their own beautiful story of success. To this class of 2014, congratulations to you and to your parents and guardians. Congratulations likewise to the teachers who never fail to respond to their duties and concerns as the second parents. Good job for all of you. In every journey, there's always an end. For you graduates, this is for you to sing your heart out and for us to remember you. Coming from the selected graduates, let us hear the melodies of their graduation song in the accompaniment of the keyboard player, Mr. Marcelo G. Mejia.